Today we're gonna build a micro race skate in under five minutes. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Megan. Hi. And if you guys have, that was really good. <laughs> well, first time on that end of it. Uh, if you guys have never met Megan before, she's this near and dear part of our Flight Test family, but she's also one of the newest faces and you do a lot of different roles. Yes, I officially, I'm one of the content developers. Basically, I write articles. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of photography. I do a lot of social media. I lead dance parties, all of that good stuff. A lot of good stuff and yeah. have a lot of fun. Now, Megan recently fell in love with the purple Umaglag quad on our store. And what we want to do is kind of have a little intervention, step her back a few steps, teach her on something with the tiny whip or the mosquito. Uh, but we need some gates. It's winter outside. We're going to show you how to build gates for under 10 bucks in about 10 minutes. Yes. And a huge shout out to uh, to an article, right? Yep. Bill McKay, uh, mm -hmm. AKA Mobilica, gave us an inspiration. Also Bob Parmalee. Yes. Yes. So we kind of put a flight test flare on it. We're going to show you how to build this with stuff from the hardware store mm -hmm. that you can light up and put together really quick. So before we get started, we need some basic materials here. Now you can pretty much choose anything. Uh, Bill McKay, is it Bill McKay? Bill McKay, yeah. Bill McKay used actually a hula hoop that he cut down. Yes. Bob Parmalee used PEX. We actually went to Lowe's and we got a little bit of PEX. You can get 20 feet for about seven bucks, mm -hmm. but you can also get this PVC material that's fairly clear mm -hmm. for about 29 cents a foot. Yes. So it's really economical. And we plan mm -hmm. to light this up for our tiny whoops. So this is half inch PVC pipe. Along with that, we're gonna need a simple drill and a drill bit. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need some LED lights. Yes. And one thing I caution you for is is if you're gonna do LED lights on something like half inch, make sure you get the thinner material. I think it's like, is it 5 16 5 16 yep. Yeah, 5 16 LEDs. The thicker stuff that's really bright is really good for the PEX line uh, that can shine through the colors for you. Uh, of course, you can always use a hula hoop. We're gonna power this from a three cell battery. Uh, thank you Hyperion for that. And then also we're gonna need these T-fittings here. These T-fittings are uh, basically gonna fit right inside. I got a 3 8 inch for the inside diameter of this. We're gonna use a heat gun to heat the tubing up. We're also gonna keep some battery ends and we need a nice sturdy base. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and put it together. All right, so Miss Megan, the first thing we need to do is figure out what size hoop they want to go through. Right. We, we actually pre-cut this because we think we think you're capable of this with the Inductrix, huh? I think I can do this. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So we're gonna be having some fun. Make this as big or as small as you want as your skill allows. Frustration is not something we want in the hobby, no. so make it bigger. You can always make it smaller later. Mm -hmm. Also, we're gonna use a thinner LED light, and we're just gonna trace this through and pass this through. We want to make sure the lights are kind of pointing outward, so it distributes it outward as you're mm -hmm. flying, not inward. Yep. So we want to make sure that it's the proper length. Mm -hmm. It's a little difficult sometimes. So using a friend, long. using a friend is always beneficial to make these, right? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we, we, go. Got, we got plenty of length here. And we Perfect. can actually cut this down. One important thing, if you're ever using LED lights, is do you see those little score marks mm -hmm. right there with the four tabs? Yep. That's your cut line. You don't want to cut it in the middle of the line or it'll knock out that whole circuit. Cut it right on the score lines. You'll obviously see if you need to put leads on there where you can solder it later. All right, so we have our size here. Uh, one thing we don't want to do that's a little bit different is we don't want to go ahead and drill holes and pass it through here. Right. Because if we pass it through the tube, we can unplug it, we mm -hmm. can change the sizes, we can service it, we can also fold it up yep. and make it really economical. So let's go ahead and take our drill real quick and we'll drill a little hole on the end here. All right, so let's go ahead and drill a hole. I'm gonna go in about maybe an inch or so. We have our little hole cut right here with our drill. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and just feed this piece of wire through here. This is just telephone wire. You can use string if you want. Uh, this is really just gonna serve to help pull this LED wire through here. And once again, we're only using a half inch outside diameter, three eighths inside. Mm -hmm. So if you have too thick of LED, it's not gonna pass through. If you have really thick bright LEDs, go ahead and get the PEX. They also have a white color, but they have blue and red as well. Yeah. All right, you wanna tape that? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. There we go. All right, so Miss Megan's gonna help me feed this through. I appreciate that you call me Miss Megan. It's very <laughs> no nice. problem. It's very respectful. It's a beat into me at a young age. Yes. So obviously you're, you're new into the hobby here and we want to yes. give you a fun activity to learn how to fly around. But also there's a lot of family members that want to fly together and build together. This is a really good afternoon project that you can do to really make your house your, your playground. Yeah. And one thing we want to really encourage you to do is to uh, find opportunities, especially in the winter months, to mm -hmm. engage with your children, engage with your friends. Uh, you can make a whole basement, a whole house, a playground, especially yeah. with these tiny whoops and little mosquitoes, uh, even gymnasiums. I mm -hmm. see a lot of church groups now going to these, uh, these smaller guys. Yeah. You'll get three or four of them up in the air, yeah. have a great time with them. This yes. is a really good addition to make things even more interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and back this off just a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna have you cut that. Uh, let's see. Hey, TJ, can you throw me over a pair of scissors? <laughs> Thanks. Go ahead and cut right out of the square line there. there All right. So we'll go ahead and pull this through just a little bit, get our end out. 
And luckily we have a good friend TJ over here. Now you want to have some basic soldering skills to be able to solder the end. Let's go ahead and do that now and make sure it's test fit before we want to go ahead and put the base on. So Megan, our next step is to solder it. Yes. And soldering, it's a little bit of a complicated process, mm -hmm. but we have a friend that can help us. Yes. All right, TJ soldered it up. Before we move any further, let's go ahead and put this on. Miss Megan, you said that you love purple. I do love purple. <gasps> and the words of Stefan, kaboomskis. Yeah. This is going to be a surprise for it, by the way. So, yes. Yeah, we're going to have the shop covered in purple for Miss Megan. Plus, we'll know which hoops are hers. Yes. All right, so this is lit up. We are actually about 80% done. Uh, our next step is to go ahead and put on a little T fitting. Uh, once again, if you're a beginner, you can make it bigger. If you're advanced, you can make it smaller. You can even cut this down smaller and smaller and make it tighter as you need. So let's go ahead and heat this up. You're going to see that this is a, this is pretty pretty rigid. If you can't get it through, we can always heat it up with our uh, with our heat gun. So let's go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and push up to the two ones. There we go. Doing this right? Mm -hmm. And it's good. Nice. All right, one down. Let's go ahead and find the natural curve of this and we'll just kind of make that work. Okay. So how can you tell that it is hot enough for you to put that in there? I'll just wave it over a little bit. This actually is a nice heat gun. Uh, you could even use a hair dryer for this. It's just going to soften up the plastic just enough okay. to make it work nice for you. And also it makes it pliable. We're gonna yes. form that to a nice circle there. So our hoop is connected. Let's go ahead and make a little standoff. Now we can make this as high or as low as we want to. You gave us a good little little chunk there, huh? Yes. Go ahead and heat that up. Heat it up? Yep. Alrighty. Awesome. A little twisting motion. Next step is we're gonna mount it in our base. And we are done. Then we are done. Can I take the honors? Yeah. Sweet. Do a little wiggle motion. Twist a little bit. If it doesn't. There we go. Wanna plug it in? Yes, sir. Who's excited? <gasps> Yes. All right, Miss Megan, our hoop is now done. Yes. I told you guys earlier it was going to be 10 minutes. We totally lied. It was maybe like three and a half, five minutes. Yeah. Really easy build. Really a lot of fun for people to do, especially as you said, yes. like as a family. Absolutely. And you can do it over and over again. It's yeah. really easy. Now, you have not flown before, and I know we're holding you back from that Umagai quad that's purple, but good old Chad, uh, <gasps> he went ahead and took the liberty of doing some no. customizing. No. Is this real life? It's real life. And now she gets to go fly. Friends, we want to thank you for watching. If you like a quick tip like this, make sure you subscribe and kick that notification bell. Also, check out the video over here. And if you don't have an Inductrix or Mosquito of your own or a little mini quad, check out our store link down here. And we'll see you next time.